Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have a new video in our course for System Design Fundamentals. Uh, this video is a recreation of the previous course that we created, but the only difference that, which will be the, 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 the quality of the videos is way more higher. So today we will talk about the database. Um, so be, let's let's so let's start in. So let's assume that we have this system. The client uh, tries to get uh, it's connecting with the DNS domain name system by sending um, um, a domain name like mywebsite.com or youtube.com or whatever it will be, and the DNS will send the IP address of the server that related to this uh, domain name. When once the client obtained the IP address, it will try to make con uh, to create an HTTP connection. Uh, with the server by the IP address and the server will send back the data or the HTML page and this system is not that bad it's really small one it's not that bad and um, right now as you can see the server right now so, uh, 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 solve two things the, the server serve the traffic and also store data because we, we, we have no other place to store data in and by the growth of our data tier, I guess it's quite reasonable to add a new element, which will be a database. And a database to store all, uh, to store uh, our elements in, 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 in uh, ah, sorry, to store our, 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 our data in. So basically our server right now will only handle the traffic and um and the the database will handle in storing the data so what is a database a database is a structured and organized collection of data that is stored electronically typically on a computer system databases are designed to if, um, efficiently store retrieve and manage large volumes of data while providing mechanism for data organization access control and data integrity they are fundamental components of modern computing uh, of modern computing and are used in a wide range of applications from business operations to uh, scientific research and beyond and i think that we should think about right now we am um, like um, some characteristics about the data and some components first we want to talk about the data and the data like w there are some things that we want to talk about the data here let me let me just uh, try to and make this numbers maybe we want to talk first about the data let me make this um so basically about the data the database store various type uh, types of data including texts number dates images and more data is organized in uh, into tables, records, and fields with each table representing a specific type of data entity. Uh, the second thing that we want to talk about is structure. So basically, databases have um, uh, a predefined structure or schema that defines the layout of the data, including the table, uh, the, the the tables, fields and uh, relationships between tables and th this structure helps ensure that data consistency and integrity we have um, um, query querying uh, users can uh, users apl and applications can retrieve data from database using query language like sql which is shorted for structured query language uh, queries allow for searching filtering and storing data to extract specific information we have uh, also the CRUD operations. So who, let me, oh, this is better. So basically databases support CRUD operations, which stand for uh, create, read, update, and delete. Users can add new data, which is will be the create. User can read uh, existing data, and you user can update uh, existing data also, which is the U, and the user can remove or destroy data. Uh, also, we have the um, maybe we have the, the indexing that we should talk about here. And in, in the indexing, basically, databases are use index uh, index to optimize data retrieval. Indexes are data structures that provides fast accessing to specific data records based on the values of the index volume. 
uh, we want to talk about like um, relationships. So databases allow the allow the establishment of relationships between tables. For example, in relationships in re, in relational database, you can establish relationships between customers and their orders using uh, keys or foreign keys. We have um, um, asset properties or asset transaction, uh, which oh sorry sorry. We have asset properties and asset transactions, like many, many databases adhere to asset properties, which is automaticity, uh, consistency, isolation, and durability to ensure data integrity, reliability, and consistency, uh, especially in uh, transactional systems. We have um, access control, like database systems implement access control mechanism to define who can access and modify data. We have uh, concurrency control, like in multi-user environments, database handle concurrency access to data to prevent conflicts. Uh, we have backup and recovery, so and more. So basically, databases are really important, and it's not just a place that we store data. It's not just a disk. It's it's more than that. It's a way that we structure the data, query the data, either create data, and 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 also it's um it's it's basically it's it's organized collection of data and uh, and it's it's stored in 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 a server as well and um and the next thing that we could talk about is that should you use sql or no sql because this is a big debate when it comes to so um you can choose between traditional and non traditional database so let's just try to think about that the relational database which is our uh, called uh, relational database in management system um, or SQL databases, the the most popular uh, one is like MySQL and Postgres. Relational database represents um, uh, represent and store data in tables and rows. You can perform join operations using SQL across different uh, database tables. Non-relational database, relational databases uh, also are also called NoSQL databases. A popular one are like um, Cassandra, uh, Cloud CloudWatch, DynamoDB. And these databases are grouped into four categories: key value stores, um, graph stores, clone stores, and uh, document stores. Uh, join operations are generally not supported in in a non relational database. And um, for most developers, I will say relational databases are the best option because they have been around for over like fifty years, and historically they have worked well. However, if relational database are not suitable for you, for your specific use case, it's uh, crucial to explore beyond relational database. So non-relational database will be a great uh, choice if, first, the application requires super low latency. Second, if your data unstructured or you do not have any relation data. Third, only need a serialized and deserialized data like JSON, XML, UML, etc. Fourth, you need to store massive amount of data. So this is the four exceptions that you can use, in my opinion, that you can use NoSQL in it. But by default, you will go with SQL database. So that's it, that's it for with, with about database, and I hope you like my, my, my description. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And see you guys in future problems.